Hey, what's up friends and welcome to my art channel. I'm Tracy L. Turner and happy holidays! It's the beginning of December. I decided that for all the videos that I make this month, I'll be wearing a Santa hat. And uh, this particular video though is something new that I'm starting out. This will be part of a playlist of videos chronicling me doing the projects from this book right here. How to See Color and Paint It. It is by Arthur Stern and it is a color theory book and it's about teaching you or if you're already a seasoned painter uh, helping you revisit color, sharpening your observation skills with color, mixing color, all of that. It is stripping everything down to the fundam fundamentals so um, it, when you do approach your own work, you are armed with a much uh, more expansive repertoire of color, maybe tricks, or at least a much sharper eye with your work. And if you're a newbie, it can help you build your confidence with observing color and mixing color, which as a painter, especially when you're starting out, I know is such a very daunting kind of thing so if you are not in school or are in school but need a little bit of help as a painter this is a book that is worth getting I think it does read kind of like a college course there there is a lot of there's a lot of text it's a lot a lot of um, explanation of what you're supposed to be learning and doing for each project. There's also a very specific materials list and a way that you're supposed to approach painting with the projects in this. So uh, I will break that down in a second. You will also be required to make your own setup box for the still lives that you'll be doing. And here is mine. It, it, it tells you how to make it. Uh, I made mine with just some foam board because I am cheap and it, it'll it get the job done. This is construction paper. You will have to set up each um, still life yourself and using the specific objects that they're talking about or at least um, specific color objects that it's talking about. but. Um, yes, yes, and you will also be required to light it yourself too. So this is a very self-directed type of um, process. So if you're someone who is self-motivated and can learn without a teacher or in or classroom, then I definitely think that, that this book is something to keep in mind or put on your list or to try out eventually. I saw an artist on Instagram, his name is Jeremy Duncan, I believe. I will put a link to his Instagram page below if you want to see how he approached each project. It's really cool and I got inspired to do it, to do the same thing. I enjoyed seeing um, what it was doing for him and his approach to painting. And I'm in a space where I'm just kind of throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. And so I'm really open <laughs> right now. And um, I just thought that uh, making myself go through this would, would be a good idea. And a great way just to end the year, I think, to just be more technical, more cerebral about, about my approach less less judgmental and just more about an absorbing and learning stage and so come the new year i am kicking myself in the butt i'm just kicking myself out of this slump i'm just just gonna have to do it because it's the only way that i'm gonna be able to get back into doing my own work and, and more and more personal more soulful stuff so that's another motivation for me and the to do this this book but I also wanted to share each thing as I go. If you already heard the book and are researching it, uh, you can kind of see 
what you're in for and uh, just see kind of how I approached uh, a certain project, if you're stuck or whatever. And um, I will also be posting on Instagram each thing as I go, talking about what I've learned, what the lesson was supposed to teach me, all of that good stuff. So if that's what you're into, that's what you want to know about, you can feel free to hit me up on there. My Instagram is at Tracy L. Turner. Follow along. I will be using the hashtag how to see color and paint it. So even if you don't want to follow me, you can just hit that hashtag. I'm sure you'll find a few other people who are doing the same thing. So yeah, that is that. So the very, very first exercise before getting to any of the still life projects, it has you doing a color wheel. Very, very simple, um, expected start to a book like this. I'm sure if you've done any sort of color theory course or painting, beginner painting class, they have you make a color wheel just to help you interact with the with with these um, very basic fundamental colors and to help you um, learn mixing paints. I already know how to mix paint so uh, it wasn't much of a challenge but I mean it's always good to kind of revisit these things. So uh, the real challenge for me was painting with palette knives. That is a requirement for the exercises in this book. You have to use a palette knife. You also have to use a very specific palette. It's just seven colors plus white. Not You're not even using black in this. It's all straight up colors. And two of them are blues. So um, that was a challenge for me as well. I have a much more expanded palette than that. So uh, yes, this is also an exercise for me in keeping things tightened up and trusting that I can mix whatever colors that I may need with just a few uh, tubes of color. Um, I will probably in the next video break down what that color palette is and the range that it that uh, or the possible range that um, that you will be able to achieve with that. But for now, I'm going to close this one out. So if you aren't subscribed and you want to follow along, go ahead, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you. And if you like this video or heard something that uh, that you liked, give it a like, share this with an artist you care about. And um, yeah, I think that is about it for right now. All right. Have a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.